Hey everybody, Anissa here, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, happy to have you back and hang out with you all today, whether you're new or old, because we're going to talk about this bad boy, the KKW and Kylie collab round two. Now, I missed out on round one. I personally did not really, mm, let me just be honest. I didn't know if their shades were gonna be like deep skin tone friendly. They were like, let me see if I can find them, like peachy. I don't know, I was not here for it. So to refresh your memory, I did pick up a photo of the first round. They were pink peachy nudes, which again, for me can be a little bit tricky. I don't always feel my best in them. And if I'm gonna wear a lipstick, I need to feel bomb in it. And those shades were not speaking to me. However, when I saw the previews for this bad boy, these shades spoke to my soul. Perfect color scheme for me all about it. I'm wearing it right now, so let's just get into it. I ordered on Black Friday. It took about a week to get to me, and the packaging it arrived in was the pink box. I'm covering up my address here. And inside, it was like nicely packed. You also got the little postcard that just says a little blurb that is cute. <laughs> Getting into the packaging, how this matte brown, and then it slides out. Ah. Oh. I was so excited when I opened it because it was like just as dummy in person as I've seen online. I have used it, but I repackaged it for the purposes of this video. And here we go. In this set, you are getting four shades for $42, two of which are the liquid matte, one is a liquid velvet, and a gloss. So the packaging for this brand is pretty much like the perfect marriage between like the KKW Beauty aesthetic and the Kylie Cosmetics um, aesthetic. So it has like the dripping from Kylie. However, it has that matte frosting that is just, it's like that KKW Beauty vibe. Like that's the best way to put it. Um, instead of it being like a black finish, it is like a matte chocolate brown. So you can see the similarities yet subtle differences between the two packaging. All in all, you get 0.11 ounces of product in each lippy formula. So the first of the mattes that I'll swatch is Soul Sister. It is actually the one that I'm wearing on my lips. It's described as being a brick red, which I think is totally on point. This is like, I don't know. I just love all these shades. I can't say enough good things. I probably can't even get my thoughts across, but I love it. Next we have Double Trouble, which is described as being a red chestnut. It's worth to mention that these all have the same like vanilla cake batter smell that the brand was infamous for. Now we have 20, which is the Velvet Liquid Lipstick. I actually have not swatched this shade, so this is like the first impression. <laughs> the other two I have and I've played around with and I really like them. Once they dry down, you can see the differences between um, Double Trouble and Soul Sister. You can see that like Soul Sister has a little bit more of a red and this is a little more muted in Double Trouble. Now, 20 is described as being a rosy terracotta, which again, I really feel like this is a, such a flattering shade and can work with a multitude of skin tones, which I really like compared to the first release of the KKW Kylie collab. Last but not least, we're gonna finish it up with the gloss in the shade Main Bay, which is described as being a bronze copper. This is another first actually as well. I've only used like two. Oh, okay, so the glosses have actually like a brush wand. Look at that, a little gorgeous number. Yeah, these four colors are everything. These are the colors up close. Oh, I'm so obsessed with them. Now, another thing I want to talk about when it comes to this formula, I really have not experienced any streakiness. It does take like a minute or two for it to dry down to its complete finish, but really it was taking it out 
in just applying like one good coating on to reach this opacity that I have, um, which I really, really appreciate. It's really easy to apply. Now these four shades are like my total vibe. I'm actually really happy that I bought this. Um, other, I really have no cons to them because I've worn this color pretty much most of the day at work and I find it pretty comfortable on the lips, not overly drying. I definitely feel like there's been an improvement since the first go at Kylie Cosmetics because I have um, another shade from them. And as much as I like it, I wasn't like wild about it formula. Do I think it justifies the individual price tag that these usually retail for? I don't know, but a good little collab set like this, I love. I almost feel like I'm gonna wear another one. And my cat's tail is right there too. But I really feel like I'm gonna order another round of it because I love these shades so much. These are kind of the shades that I always find myself running and grabbing for year round. These are great for fall. This is a great giftable for your Christmas list, you guys. Like if you have someone who's a makeup lover and they, um are not like anti-Kardashian Jenner clan. Put this under the tree. Just trust me. Shipping and everything, I have no qualms with that. It arrived to me by via USPS. And again, it took about a week to arrive, which I'm here for. And these have not sold out, surprisingly. So I'm still like, these have not sold out. Like, am I the only person like, utterly obsessing through these shades and I know if you watch this video you're probably like if this girl doesn't shut up about how much she loves it but don't get me wrong I love lipsticks in general um, but overall finding a complete set that I feel like works perfectly together um, with little subtle differences is kind of just my gig and if you're kind of like me and you keep it pretty simplistic this was literally my makeup for work and most of the time this is my everyday a neutral eye and then just a really easy going lip that I feel really good in these are kind of like my go-to shades so maybe I'm biased but I hope you hear me out on it um, when I say that these shades are really actually really darn good. Now the only two cons I can think of would be one price, but 42 bucks, four colors. When you do the math, it comes out to $10 and some little cents. I don't think that's that bad, but I can understand if that's like a lot of money for you to fork over. However, you are getting four lip colors. The other thing could be fragrance. Now these bad boys do have a like cake batter vanilla scent to them. However, I will say, as you wear them, you don't notice it. It's really just an initial flush of fragrance when you're applying it, and after that, you're good. Now, I will confirm that these are cruelty-free from the research that I've done about Kylie Cosmetics. However, the status of vegan, I'm not sure because from what it looks like is some items are vegan and some are not, but they're cruelty-free. Thank you again for watching today. I hope you found it useful and helpful. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. And if you have further questions, let me know in the comment box below or say hello. And as always, you are welcome to subscribe to my channel and join some glam fun with me on a weekly basis. I hope to hang out with you again soon. In the meantime, enjoy some lip swatches to end off this video. Bye.